Stepping to the side to avoid the attack, Nage makes contact with both wrist and elbow of the attack arm. Stepping back diagonally and hyperextending Uke's elbow downward brings Uke to the mat swiftly. During initial contact, Nage rolls the attack arm with the fingers of the elbow hand pointed toward Uke's head. Nage removes the weapon while hyperextending the elbow in the pin. In this technique, Nage controls the attack arm with one hand on the outside elbow and the other on the inside surface of the forearm, turning and dropping to effect a powerful throw. After unbalancing Uke forward with a subtle hip movement, Nage sweeps his hand past the face to turn Uke's body and add to the throwing power. With the weapon coming toward his face, Nage steps to the inside, blending with the attack arm and dropping to affect this kokunage technique. This technique illustrates the importance of blending with the force of the attack, redirecting that force with a centered movement. Holding Uke's wrist through the throw allows control and removal of the weapon. With the shoulder held, tanto to the throat, Nage turns away quickly while grasping Uke's wrist from below. Nage drives head and neck under the attack arm 
to avoid clashing with Uke's arm that holds the shoulder. It is important to note that Nage may turn in only one direction, pivoting on the held shoulder. After driving under Uke's attack arm, Nage uses his shoulder to hyperextend the elbow for better control while completing the technique. This technique begins like the previous one, except that Nage makes initial contact on top of the attack arm, rather than from below. The tanto is removed by applying downward pressure on the crossed arms. Nage cuts down the attack arm with his hand blade and grasps the back of the hand which holds the shoulder. This results in the crossed arms for a throw driven from the center. 